All right, Scott from Cuisinas Confidential here, and yes, we're gonna fire up the Traeger for its initial launch. We got a Bavette steak, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. We also have some vegetables we're gonna be grilling, but right now, we've already done the seasoning of the grill. That was done a couple days ago. But right now, we just got a little, put on smoke, and let it get its thing going for about 10 minutes, let it warm up, and then, I'll be right back and show you what we're going to be doing. As you can see, it hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. We always have some smoke going on. And we got some time. We're going to be doing a vet steak, like I said earlier. It's going to be about three hours. But right now, we're just getting this baby warmed up and take it from there. Ooh, I love that mesquite uh, pellets. Forgot about that. We have mesquite pellets in here. We're going to get a nice smoky flavor of course stay tuned we we're talking about the pellets and here they are mesquite pellets there's an auger under here it's going to gradually bring these down slowly and surely to cook whatever we're doing to cook vegetables we can make a pie in here so really a lot of fun stuff here so we're just letting it still get this get us uh groove on here it's the first time we fired it up we'll let it take its time and then we'll come back and after we set the temperature of what we're going to be doing. We have the Bavette steak, which comes from the bottom sirloin, also known as a flank steak. So it is usually in the back part of the cow. If you look at the, the diagram, we'll show you here in a second. It's also where the cow is always moving, right back by the legs. So it's usually always being stretched and contracted, stretched and contracted. So it's gonna be a nice cut of meat. Also, I also marinated this for over 24 hours. We marinated it in um, vegetable oil, and a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of soy sauce, onions, um, different kinds of proprietary spices which i won't give that away and some mint from our garden as also some rosemary as well and it just sat in the refrigerator for 24 hours and we pat it dry and it's going to let it roll so i cannot wait to show you what it's going to be like it's getting ready to go in really soon as you can see the Traeger grill has probes. Even helps you really make sure it's cooked to the proper temperature. So each one of them has a probe in it right now. And eventually, we're gonna get it up to about 130, 135 um, as far as the internal temperature. But right now the grill is dropping because I have the door open. It's down to 160. But we're gonna put, the, put in right now, put the meat in, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen very soon. So, as we can see, our bavette steak is on the grill and probes are inserted. So now we're going to shut it and we're going to monitor the temperature, but now it's going to hang out, maybe get a drink, and we'll see what's going to happen uh, three hours from now. But we still get to monitor it right here. And so we're going to shut the grill. And see you soon. We set the initial setting on smoke, just to give it some smokiness, uh, maybe for like 45 minutes to an hour, and then we'll increase the heat up to 225 for the rest of its duration, or just watch the probe until it gets to 130, and then we're good internal. Perfect. Also, that's medium rare, by the way. All right, the timer went off, and look at that. They've been smoking just for about 45 minutes and just barely about 200 degrees. So now, as you can see, we've increased it up to 225 and that'll be for the next duration. I'm also checking it with an instant thermometer as well. We're still about 110 degrees, maybe 115. So we got a long way to go. So sit back. Pull up a drink, a beer, a cocktail, and enjoy.
So I just checked the temperature. It's about 130 internal. Time to take them out and we're gonna wrap them here in tin foil. Let them sit for 10 or 15 minutes. And this time for the vegetables. Then they go back on and get a nice sear. So now we just wrap it up, our two beautiful pieces of Babette steak. And we're gonna let them sit here on the tin foil for a while. And now we're gonna work on the vegetables. So always remember, always have to eat your veggies. So now we've increased the heat. The bavette is resting right now for about 10 minutes or so, a little bit longer. And then we got the vegetables going at high heat for about 30 minutes or so. And then the bavette goes back on to get those beautiful sear marks. And done, right off the grill. Okay, finally, we're almost at the very end. We got the vegetables done. Everything is good, but the final thing is to take these beautiful Babette steaks and put them right here on the grill on high. We want to get sear marks on those. There's three minutes on each side. Easy, easy. Look at that. Look at that, dude. How, this is amazing to watch this happen. So this, we already have some grill marks. I should love that sound. Sound of perfection, I hope. So stand by. It's three minutes on each side, six minutes away from the finale. So after three hours, we did vegetables. This beautiful bavette, look at that. It came out great. I cannot wait to dig into this. Stay tuned. Here we go. We're cutting it in strips as they suggested. And here, look at there, look at that. And there we go. There we go. Three hours. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Right off. Yeah, I got Sir Billy Travels is circling me like a shark right now. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. The marrow day comes through right away. And you'll get a hint of that smoke. It's mesquite. I think it's, you know, it's a work in progress. My first try, so more to come. Cheers. <laughs>